If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Vlahovic SBC to check out. Uh, physical type striker, so by default already has 86 dribbling, so we definitely have to work with that. Uh, six foot three, high, low, four star, four star, left footed, lengthy player. Uh, play styles in game. He does have the Trivella Plus. Uh, he has flair, he has aerial, he has finesse shot, chip shot, and the power shot. In game attributes this is how the card is formatted. So um, I think he still remains to be a lengthy player. If I provide him with the engine chemistry style, I'm pretty sure he does. Let's see here. That's not what I meant to do. Footman doesn't update right away anymore, eh? These guys are, these guys no update right away, my friend. Okay, so anyways, um, this card is going to be played on an engine. You just kind of have to, in my opinion, because that agility and balance is in a very, very bad spot. Uh, but play styles wise, right? These are the main things that he's working with. He doesn't have power header, but he does have aerial. So he could win some uh, opportunities in the air as well. Short passing is in an okay area. Uh, heading accuracy, jumping. Like you really definitely got to use this card in his physical ways. If you don't, then it's going to be kind of chalked for the most part. You could technically go in the direction of also giving him a Hawk chemistry style to boost his physical stats even more, as well as his shooting and pace. But then you would have to work with lower agility and bounce. The thing is, though, guys, that I might not actually mind doing that because if that's his dribbling stats with an engine, it's still going to be in a really rough spot anyways, right? So food for thought, you know, food for thought. But yeah, we'll go ahead and unlock the card and I'll show you guys how we line them up. Okay, so uh, I forgot to record a lot of these uh, situations, so we're out here. Anyways, uh, utilizing the side position here with Mbappe, you can see that uh, Vlahovic will start to make this run in the middle. So I'll make the pass to the midfielder first to create the space. Touch with Vlahovic, but just be mindful that this touch is on the inside. I wish you can go backwards in the thing, but I guess not. Uh, it's going to be this one, right? Yeah. So we get here. This is a touch on the inside. If you're facing more outwards, it's not going to be like as effective. We do hit a green time strike here. Right. Green time strike. He hits it directly to the side position. Uh, second goal here. Uh, second goal here is trying out certain things, right? So he gets open in the side area. Sees the space, Mbappe makes that run, it's a disguised run, Vlahovic takes a touch, gets on the inside, and then we do the ball roll into a finesse, no green time, just a regular, right? And he does end up scoring the opportunity, like so, bar D. Uh, we have this next one here, which is from a corner kick, so when you're transitioning from the corner kick into the header, you're manually controlling the guy, right? So from the situation, I'm manually controlling Vlahovic to go to the near post. And he's really, really good at these situations, especially when I give him the Hawk, because he'll win a lot of those engagements, right? And look at this heading accuracy from the card, right? Beautiful header there. Um, then we have this one here, which I think is a similar situation as well. Let's see for the header. Oh, no. So this is just like regular build up, right? So we pass it back. Uh, we get the ball here through the middle. First time pass to Vlahovic. He takes one touch. All of these highlights is, you know, me not touching the ball too much with him, right? I don't want to dribble too much with this card. I just want to get him on the ball in the right area. Green time strike. Again, hits the direct corner from the strike. Uh, let's see if we can get a nice little angle here, right? So a direct corner, right? When you hit the green and you're facing on the inside of the 18-yard box, you'll score those sort of opportunities. Um, so again, we're just we're just showing some attacking animations out of the card, the way he shoots, right? His finishing is very, very solid, right? Um, over here, we go into the Croquetta shot, which is a green time strike as well. So again, because the shot 
is facing at a right angle just on the inside. If I green time this strike with Vlahovic, who has near enough perfect finishing, he will be able to score an opportunity like that where he hits the direct side position, right? Um, and then we have one here where, again, it's from a corner kick, right? So, again, transitioning with Vlahovic to the near post. And take a look at the header, right? He has the aerial. A guy tries to clear it. He scores that opportunity as well. I don't even try to green time my headers. He just kind of scores them, right? A uh, situation here, through on goal, touch on the inside. This one is really crazy because I actually don't hit a green here. I hit a red, right? So you actually see that I hit a red time strike and he hits the ball like this, right? Shooting definitely comes off very nicely on that left foot, 100%. Um, and then we have a situation here where we win possession of the ball. And because he has the Trivella Plus, we're able to score an opportunity like this where I don't even green time this, right? This is just a regular time strike. And he hits the ball like that. Which will probably be nerfed in like a week or so, but it's a, it's important to show those kind of like animations out of the card, right? So... He's very solid at the, uh, at the corner kicks, huh? Yeah, so if he's at an angle, he's not going to hit the direct side. You definitely have to face it at a right angle for sure. Holy man. I got it on the green there. Oh, crossbar again, man. Ah, I didn't get it on target there. Unlucky. Oh, that was going to be a side-footed animation. Not bad, eh? Not bad. From a really rough spot, too. Oh! Oh! All right. Oh, a nice try. Or even a regular white time scores. His finishing is really good, guys. It's definitely very, very good. And it makes sense, right? Because when I give him the hawk, it basically makes it perfect, right? The main thing that you have to work with is left stick dribbling. It's definitely going to be rough, of course. But physical presence in the air... Um, if he does get that one angle, like his shooting comes off very, very nicely. Wow. Even on an angle facing away, as long as I hit that green, he still scores it. Good stuff. Again, the initial touch, rough, but the fact that he can score from there is really good. See, that's that's the stuff that takes a little bit longer to kind of get off right shield touch pass it off quick oh, i gotta put way more power physical type player you gotta put way more especially after that run Holy! 
see. You guys think that nerf will come for the for the new gen version? Look at that, dude. One skill move. Basically puts him in the position to Trivella. Green time the strike. And because his finishing is really good, he scores. Look at that. Basically perfect to the top right. Uh, the first goal that we didn't record by accident again was this one right here. Right? So touch on the heavier side, but we go into the body feint. L1 touch. Tap L1 into a Croquetta because I had a feeling that guy was going to commit into him afterwards. And then we hit a green time strike here. Goes through the defender, basically. If, we, if, if, we're, if we're facing someone that's a defender that has block, he obviously doesn't score this. Uh, because they would have just blocked this, I think, right? But green time strike, it's direct side position. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Vlahovic card. So, guys, listen. Uh, the card performs the way that he looks, you know? Um, in my opinion, if you end up using a card like this in your team... I have to go to this one because this one's a little bit more updated... If you use a card like this in your team, right, forget the engine chemistry saw because it doesn't make sense for you to give him an engine when his dribbling is already that low, right? I think it makes the most sense to give him the Hawk, right, to make his shooting as perfect as possible. Now, guys, listen. Yes, you do have to work with the left stick dribbling on the card being pretty bad to work with because, you know, he's physical oriented and whatnot. And it's going to take him a little bit longer to do certain things, right, because he does have 70 agility with 60 for balance, right? However, this card's physical presence, this card's shooting animations, not necessarily the pace, because the pace, it would have to be higher. Like, the lengthy is definitely nice to push pace out of the card, because what I notice more is not necessarily that his run animation is fast, because it's not that fast. It's very physical. It's, like, decent to work with. It's more so if he gets past a defender, it's kind of hard to outmuscle him, especially when you give him that Hawk chemistry style, right? And a lot of the times, guys, with this card, you notice in the highlights that I'm not focused on dribbling a lot with the card. I'm focused on getting that one situation with him. So make sure you have to use a formation like a 4-3-2-1 or something, right? Where it's just one touch shoot, uh, drag touch into a shot. That's the main way that you have to use this card. This card is actually not that bad in game, right? It's not. Will it be used in the top divisions on a consistent basis? No, because the agility and balance is going to be rough to work with. And left stick dribbling is very important to work with against the park, the bus meta. But if you enjoy using physical type strikers, this card's actually pretty good in game, right? The high low work rates is nice. The left foot is nice. The four star, four star, four star, four star capabilities is nice because the way that you have to utilize this card is going to be in perfect finishing and physical presence while also being able to score a lot of headers because he has uh, the aerial play style to work with stats that has 99 jumping and 98 heading accuracy. So that's the way that you have to fully utilize a card if you decide to use him in your team. So yeah, it's actually not that bad. It's uh, it's uh, the left stick, again, in the higher divisions, it'll be a little bit more rough to work with, but if you play him in the way that I'm mentioning, He's still going to be decent to use. Is it a card a lot of people are going to complete? Probably not. But because of the left stick, because at this point, people really need that left stick to play the meta of the game. But like I said, if you enjoy using the physical type strikers, he's still pretty decent to use in game. There's some physical type strikers that I've used that, I've, that feel horrible, and he's definitely not one of them. Like you can actually um, get him to score a lot of opportunities for you. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.